guys, Rebecca Hamilton. I am getting ready to make an alley spray for the summertime for like, I don't know, the millionth time ever, but I figured that I would get on and show you guys how to make it so that if you are looking for new recipes or just um, you're kind of new to making your own, your own um, recipes or sprays, this is a really, really simple way to get started with it. And all of the oils that I'm gonna be using are oils that you would normally get in your starter kit. So it's um, it's all right there and ready for you. So the only extra things that you're going to need is a, um, a I think it's like a 15 milliliter bottle or I don't know, two ounces, I can't remember. Um, but it's one of the smaller spray bottles. And you can get these at so many places. I think doTERRA has them in their back office now, but Amazon, you can get them there too. Just make sure that they come with the sprayer already um, included. Another way that you can do it is if you just get the actual sprayers and you can recycle one of your empty bottles, which is what I like to do also. But since um, I've already got myself an Owie spray bottle, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. Okay, so, what I use in this particular one, and if you if you research, if you look on um, some of the DIY pages or um, on doTERRA's blog, you might find a different recipe, but I'm just gonna use frankincense, which is my fave. Well, I have a lot of favorites, but if you use frankincense, um, it has a lot of just um, skin healing properties to it. It's gonna help with um, scarring and inflammation and things of that sort. Um, but also frankincense is kind of like the king of all oils if you haven't heard that yet. So what it'll do is like, I use frankincense with a lot of my oils because I'll go in after like if I, lavender, for instance, if I'm looking for something calming or to calm some anxious feelings, I'll use lavender and then I'll go in with the frankincense um, directly after and frankincense kind of like gives it an extra oomph to help um, all of the, um, all of the, everything to just kick in and make it just amplified, I guess is a good word, amplified. So anyway, we're gonna use um, about five drops of frankincense and then 15 drops of lavender. I'm sorry if you're too far away, lavender. And the lavender is very calming so it's gonna help with any of pain or discomfort that you might be feeling or the kiddos might be feeling. And then Melaleuca um, is, or tea tree oil is um, the, the name of the Melaleuca. But let me just go back to lavender for just a second. Uh, the lavender is, um, I just actually did a video on lavender also. It's very calming in all instances, whether it's emotional or if it's physical and especially related to your skin. So for burns or cuts or bumps or bruises or bug bites, lavender is anything calming. So by using lavender in your alley spray, it's gonna help to ease some of the discomfort that um, you or your children may be feeling. And then the tea tree oil is the antiseptic properties. It's gonna be very antibacterial, so it's gonna get rid of all those germs that are lurking around. So um, between the three of those, oh, 15 drops of melaleuca, 15 drops of lavender, and five drops of the frankincense. And all you're gonna do is you're just going to, hmm, hopefully I'm close enough, you're just gonna drop them in. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now this is one way you can do it. Another way that you can do it is, hold on, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So another way that you can do it is you can get one of those little um, squeezy things. I can never remember the names of them, um, but you can, an eyedropper you can get one of those to get the oils out of each bottle, but you just wanna be careful dipping into multiple bottles because you'll mix the oils together. So you wanna use a different eyedropper for each of the oils that you're using. So after you're all done 
with putting your oils in, you're just going to top it off with fractionated coconut oil. And I forgot to tell you that you needed that at the beginning. I'll tell you at the end again, um, all the supplies that you'll need. So anyway, you're just gonna fill this bottle up with doTERRA's fractionated coconut oil. And you wanna make sure that you're using the doTERRA's fractionated coconut oil, because if you just get um, extra virgin coconut oil off the shelf somewhere, it's um, in solid form. So when you go to spray it, it's gonna be in solid form unless it's like sitting out in the warm sun or something like that because coconut oil um, in the solid form only turns liquid or liquefies if it's in, um, you know, I think it's what, 90 something degrees. I don't even remember what the actual temperature is. But um, so that's how you make it one more time. Um, Frankincense, five drops. Lavender, 15 drops. Tea tree oil, 15 drops. And then top it off with your fractionated coconut oil. And then you wanna make sure each time that you go to use your owie spray, you wanna shake it up to make sure it's all mixed properly. And um, then what I use are, you can get these um, just about anywhere also. They are waterproof waterproof little stickers that, um, or labels. And this one actually says Alley Blend on it, but there's so many cute ones that you can find out there now that are, just make sure that you find the waterproof ones because the oil and the waters will get onto the sticker and it will peel right off. So that is how you make Alley Blend. I hope that was helpful. And um, I want to hear from you once you make it. So tell me how it goes. Have a great afternoon.